These days it seems like every week I read about hikers that get lost. Uh, this past couple of weeks we had a couple of teenagers in my neck of the woods that went on a day hike in a local area and were missing for four days before luckily they were both rescued. I want to make a brief video to show you some items that regardless of what hike you're on, if it's a hike you've been on a hundred times, if it's a hike you've never been on, if you're going alone, if you're going with 20 people, you should always put these things in your day pack and have them with you at all times. Besides water, which you should bring a couple of 16 ounce bottles at the very least, you should bring some snacks. Bring a little extra, you know, energy bars, almonds, beef jerky, you might not be hungry for these during the day, but if you get lost, you're going to really be thankful you brought them. Bring a map. You can either get a topographical map of the quadrant that you're hiking in if you're up in the forest. You can get a, a Google map, um, zoom in and print it off if you're doing something local. Make a copy for somebody at home and make notes of where you're starting and where you plan to go to and when you plan on turning around and coming home. A map can save your life. To go with the map, bring a compass. This is a regular compass. It's a little larger than you need. There are smaller ones. You might even have a compass on your iPhone or your smartphone. But make sure you have that. and Make sure it works when you don't have cell phone connection. A compass and a map are lifesavers. Bring a first aid kit. You can either buy an assembled kit or you can assemble a kit at home and put it in a Ziploc bag. Make sure it has some bandages. Make sure it has some Neosporin. Uh, throw in a couple of Advil or Tylenol for pain. Um, there should also be a needle and some thread just in case there's a deep cut and it needs to be sewn up. A pocket knife. You don't need a big pocket knife like you see on TV that you can cut down trees with. A small Swiss Army knife, something with a pair of scissors and a couple of blades and tweezers that fits easily in your pocket is perfect. A flashlight or a headlamp. You need something in case you're out after dark and you can't see where you're going. It'll also help you be seen. Make sure you throw in a small flashlight, a little mag light, or if you want to go to the hardware store or the sporting goods store, these little headlamps are 10 bucks. Make sure the batteries are fresh. You don't want to go out there with old batteries and find out that they don't work when you need it. Probably the most important thing would be matches. Waterproof matches or a good lighter disposable lighter. Again, make sure the lighter is new or hasn't been used much because if you need it, you want to make sure you can get a light. You can use a lighter to start a small fire for warmth. You can start a small fire for signal. You can start a small fire for smoke to be found. Don't go hiking anywhere without matches or a lighter. This might seem to be a no-brainer, but you've probably gone hiking without it. Bring some toilet paper. You can get these rolls at your local sporting goods store. They're very small. Just throw them in your pack. If you need to go, you're going to wish you had toilet paper. Bring a small mirror. This mirror is a signal mirror. You can buy these again at your outdoor sporting goods stores. These are good. They can help you line up the sun with a distant object and flash light to help you be found. But any mirror will do, a makeup mirror, anything. This one here is small, thin, it's lightweight, easily packs away in your day pack. Throw some rope in your bag. I always keep a little 20, 10, 20 foot stretch of parachute rope. You never know when you're going to need that. Maybe your shoelace will break, maybe your your buttons on your shorts will break. Maybe you'll need to tie something up overnight to keep it away from animals. Uh, maybe you'll need to hold, climb down and, and pull your bag down after you. Always take a little bit of rope with you.
Doesn't have to be heavy duty, just some light parachute cord. I always wear a bandana when I hike. It does so many things. It keeps the sun off me, off my neck. If it's hot and I come across water, I can soak it and wrap it around my neck to cool down. I can put it over my head wet, cool me down. It, in case of an emergency, it can be used for a tourniquet. You can tear it off and use it for so many things. And it weighs nothing. And just wrap it around your neck and you'll be glad you have it. Here's something a lot of people might not think of, a whistle. A whistle can be tied off on the zipper cord of your bag and if you're lost and people are looking for you and you've been out there for days you might not be able to yell. But if you can blow a whistle this can be heard for a great distance. Don't go out hiking without a whistle. This is a space blanket. These fold up, they weigh absolutely nothing, they're very small. I've had this one for years, never needed it. But if I did need it, here's what it'll do for me. It reflects your body heat. You can use it for a blanket to keep you warm. You can use it to keep the rain off you. Uh, and importantly, it's reflective. You can lay it out in an open area and anything flying overhead, uh, rescuers, people looking for you, can see the sun reflecting off this and they'll find you that much faster. Space blanket is a must. The last thing I would bring is a lightweight jacket. This is a lightweight Gore-Tex jacket. It's waterproof, windproof, it's got a hood on it, folds up really small. I just throw it in my pack. If, again, if I'm lost, if I'm out after dark, or if the weather changes, I've got protection. And even if you start off in a nice 80, 70 degree day, clear sunshine, within hours the weather can turn on you and you can be stuck in hail lightning, thunderstorm, and you can be out there for sometimes days. You've got to have a jacket with you. You can bring a fleece jacket. They're a little heavier, but they keep you warm. I prefer the lightweight Gore-Tex jacket.